I quit. I give up. I don't want to do graphic design anymore. This is it. It's over. Hey, what's up guys? This is Adrian Boysell. Thank you for tuning in to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. Today, I want to talk to you guys about why I gave up my career as a graphic designer full time and now I'm running a company instead. It's important if you're a graphic designer to understand that if you're going to grow a business and you're going to go out from working for somebody to working for yourself, you need to change your mindset. And this is a hard mindset to change. And I know firsthand how hard it is because I've had to go through this since 2007 and it's been not as easy of a transition as I thought it would be. Okay, over the years that I started my graphic design and print shop in 2007, to about 2010, I had taken on over 3,000 clients. And during that time, I got so overwhelmed with work that I had to start bringing in other people to help me. And one of the guys that actually bought into my company at the time, and I've talked about this in the past, he was pretty mean. And he told me, you can't do graphic design anymore. You need to be doing sales because that's what you're better at. And I took that personally. I was like, man, is he saying that I'm not a good graphic designer? And I had a lot of my identity wrapped up in being a graphic designer. And so I know a lot of my fellow artists and my fellow creatives can feel the same way, that you can feel discouraged by having to bring in other people to do the work that you think you should be doing, but you can only produce so much in a day. So I feel like it's very, very important that you understand that your income and your quality of life and the volume is, and the value also is tied to the type of work that you can do and to the people that you bring in and being able to let go a little bit. So what I was able to do is I brought in a graphic designer that was just as talented as me, if not better. And through doing that, I started to realize that my income would go up because I can only produce so many jobs in one day. And by bringing him in, he could produce the same amount of jobs as I could, if not more, and even do them at a higher level. And so I started to realize that by bringing in other talented people who are just as talented as me or better, I could start to produce more income and really help my team and help myself. And that was what I was really driven to do. And really in the, in the big picture of things, it was also helping my clients because I was bringing in people that were more talented. Yes, they were having to pay a little bit more, but they were getting a better quality of work. It was getting it turned around faster. So it was just a great win-win situation for everybody. And I was able to just let go, have more fun, and just enjoy the income part of actually being a graphic designer. Now I've stepped away from that and now I'm not doing really any graphic design other than here and there. I'm picking the, par the projects that are personal to me that I have an affinity towards, whether it's a, a marketing for ministry or some sort of graphic design project for a new brand, something that I have a, that's in a, a friend's business, something along those lines. I can pick and choose the projects that resonate with me. And so that has really helped my income and given me a lot of freedom. So that leads me to number one. Number one is income. By bringing in other graphic designers and taking yourself out of the graphic design chair and giving yourself more of an overall director, creative director approach, you're gonna increase your income, you're gonna increase the income of the people that are on your team and that are around you. And that's important. I've hit record numbers in sales last year that I've ever done before in any of my businesses because I was able to bring in other talented people into the business that were just as good as I am, if not better. And so by doing that, I increased my income, I grew the company's income, and I grew my the people that work for me. I'm producing jobs for people. I'm actually out there helping the economy grow, not just putting all the money back in my pocket and trying to just trying to keep it all myself, which wasn't even that much to begin with when it was just me. And so number two is very important as well, and that's volume. Volume of work is very important. And so if you're doing a high volume of work by yourself, you're gonna burn yourself out. And that burnout is very, very real. The volume of work that you can produce, like just think you bring in one graphic designer. If I can produce 100 graphic design projects myself in a month, and I bring in another graphic designer, that doubles the amount of volume of work that I can produce in a month. And it also really takes some, some work off of my plate. So if we only get 150 graphic design projects in a month, then I can split those projects between myself and the other graphic designer. And now I'm having to work less and not having to pull crazy hours. The volume of work also increases your income, you're able to charge more, and you're able to produce just a better end result for your customer because you have other people that are just as good 
or more talented. So that's very, very important for you to think about is just the amount of volume that you can produce. I'm gonna hit record numbers this year in volume and in sales because of how many graphic designers and how many people we have on our team. And now what I've done is I've encouraged everybody that's on my team to start thinking in the same way. I want them to be entrepreneurial. I don't want them to just be in the employee mindset where they sit in a seat, they do a job for eight hours and they go home and that's it. I want them to be thinking about how they can be creative directors of their department, whether it's web design, whether it's graphic design, whether it's motion graphic, they can be creative directors of their role and they can make more money than they're even making now with me by managing the projects and we can go find young and hungry people who are just starting off in their career maybe just came out of college or maybe they're self-taught they could be 17 18 year old graphic designers and maybe they're on Upwork or freelancer or you know online somewhere you can find them uh, out of colleges and internship programs that they're hungry and they want to get the experience and build a portfolio. You can bring these people in for 12, 15, or even $20 an hour, and you can pay your people better. So the client gets a better end result, you're able to turn things around faster, you're never under delivering to your client, which is very important, especially as a graphic designer. I don't know how many times throughout all these years of doing it where I was overwhelmed with so many projects because I needed to make an income, right? I needed to produce a good income, but I took on all these projects and then I was behind a week or two weeks sometimes just backed up with work. That's not the way I wanted it to be. So by being able to create more volume, those situations didn't happen. And so it served the clients better, it served me better, it served the company better, and it served my team better because I was creating more jobs. So, and that leads me to the third one. And I talked about burnout. Number three is quality of life. As a graphic designer, you deserve a good quality of life. And that doesn't mean like making a, a ridiculous amount of money. That's great and that's, that's cool. But most artists and most creative people don't get into doing this for a living because they wanted to make a ridiculous amount of money, right? That's not our drive. That's not our motivator. That's not our passion. Our passion is art. Our passion is creativity. Our passion is graphics. Our passion is, you know, business or entrepreneurship. And so as you start to think about those things, you start to realize that the priorities will change once you start bringing in these other people and your quality of life will improve. You won't be working like I did, 24 hour shifts. I mean, I can't even tell you how many 24 hour shifts I pulled just trying to keep up and still being behind. I don't know how, what kind of toll that took on my body long term, but sleep is incredibly important. And so there were probably five or six solid years where probably a dozen or two dozen times throughout those years, I was working 24 hour shifts doing graphic design. Now, don't get me wrong. I wasn't miserable through all those times, but it wasn't good for me. I enjoyed doing it so much that I couldn't go to sleep. I had so much work on my plate and I was making great money as a graphic designer. So I wanted to keep going. I was like, hey, I can just, I can just push through it tonight. I'm young, I can do it now. Might as well do it now rather than trying to do it when I'm older. And so I took those advantages when I was in my younger 20s, 20 to about 27. I did that and even fairly recently, I've done that a couple times over the last like three or four years but I just can't do it anymore. It's just not good for me. I know it's not good for my quality of life. I know it's just not good for the company and it's not good for the clients. So for me, I wanna improve the quality of life, bring a higher ROI to the clients and by bringing in other talented people in different areas with web design and graphic design and logo design and branding and motion graphics, all these different areas, by bringing in great talent, I can actually provide a better ROI because it allows me to look at the projects with all of my experience and all the all of the awards that I've won and the things that I've done and allows me to provide a better end result on the content strategy, on the marketing strategy, because I've transitioned. I've transitioned out of being just a graphic designer to being a marketer, to being a marketing trainer, a graphic design trainer. I teach people the business of graphic design and how to actually make real money. That's part of why I'm doing this video, right? And so my goal is to help people make a higher ROI, help bring in more clients for my company to produce more sales, to bring in more talent, to create more jobs. It's just a better quality of life for everybody all around. So you're not just doing it for yourself and your own quality of life, but you're doing it for all the people around you, for your customers, for your team, for your business, and even for your family. Your family deserves to have more time with you. And if you're pulling 24 hour shifts, you're sacrificing that time with your family. And so I want you to have a better quality of life. I want you to have a better career. You gotta let go of that control. You can still have 
uh, that overall look and feel of your style, your design in the projects that you do. You can still be the creative director. You can still make changes and say, hey, do this and do that. And you can still have the overall initial vision for the design projects, but you don't need to be the one doing the, the actual graphics work or drawing or doing Illustrator or doing Photoshop on every single project. You can sub some of this work out to people and let them handle that part of it and just take the projects that mean something to you, that, are, that matter to you, that you have a clear vision for, that you know you could knock out in an hour versus having another graphic designer do it in four hours. So just think about those things. Think about how much your time is worth. If you're out there selling or you're out there bringing in customers or you're out there doing marketing, your time is worth a lot more than just a 15, 20, $25 an hour graphic designer. So as a freelancer, I just want you to start changing your thinking. I want to challenge you to start doing that and just let go of the control of being a graphic designer. So that's what I got for you today. If you like this video, please send it to a fellow creative, fellow graphic designer, web designer, motion graphics guy, any of the creators in the world, I need to have this video seen because I want to reach people. I want to help people. I just want to change the world. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless. And as always, keep looking up.